I've been fighting for freedom and democracy in Hong Kong for about the past few years. I was once elected as the youngest uh, parliamentarian in Hong Kong at the age of 23, but subsequently, uh, due to Beijing's intervention and suppression, they uh, jailed me because of my participation in 2014. And for now, I had to live in a life of exile because they put me under the wanted list of the national security law. <laughs> It's really difficult to resist in Hong Kong and in China because we are facing the second largest economy in the world. They have um, all the necessary tools to suppress us. The only thing that we get is people. We've got the power of people. Just try to imagine uh, on the 16th of June 2019, it was the largest rally ever took place in Hong Kong. There were more than 2 million people marching down to the streets. Um, and Hong Kong was a city with uh, only 7.5 million people. We've got more than a quarter of that come out. China was definitely very um, heavy-handed over the protest. Um, they suppress it and they don't want us to continue, obviously, um, because they are a country that wants to dominate everything. They wanted to hold all the power and they don't want a system with um, division of power and checks and balances. We, we must admit that China and Russia, they are close allies. They are the closest uh, dictatorship partners. Um, everything Russia did, um, I think China had a part of them. So I, I think we should stop thinking China is just um, a third party uh, and they do nothing um, over the, 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 the war and the expansion of this dictatorship. Um, so for me, it's really a, a, a very important moment to wake the world that we must do more to curb the influence. We must do more to defend democracy, um, not only in uh, in, in Ukraine, where a war is happening, but also we must remind ourselves um, China is also intending to have um, another warfare to Taiwan, which could possibly turn into next Ukraine. I think um, uh, after the start of the invasion in Ukraine, uh, the European leaders have recognized that they made a mistake by closing their relationship with uh, nearer to, to, to Russia and relying on their energy, etc. It gives them confidence to do this appalling human rights intrusion in Ukraine. And the same thing is ha actually happening in China. Um, we, we, well, China is one of the largest trading partner with uh, Europe. This uh, relationship gives China confidence to do whatever they want as long as they can retain in power. I don't think this should be continued. We, we must have a thorough review with how we should interact with this dictatorship in order to preserve our values. <laughs>